your, uh, your previous answers is, are not enough to assure uh, U.S. allies and partners because first Korean War broke out as a civil war. If US, the United States commit only to places that uh, without civil war, how can you ensure that allies that the United States will defend them in a crisis that can describe as a civil war? For example, if the People's Republic of China attacks Taiwan, the uh, Chinese can argue that it is a civil war among the Chinese, uh, and how can you just uh, uh, how can you justify the U.S. involvement in Taiwan and South Korea? And, and I also understand the United States did not want to make a sacrifice, but at the same time, leadership requires a sacrifice. And how can you uh, just claim to be a global leader without making sacrifice? So I want to start where your question ended because the United States made an extraordinary sacrifice in Afghanistan. 2,448 Americans lost their lives in Afghanistan. Tens of thousands of Americans were injured in the war in Afghanistan over 20 years trying to help that country stand up and being able to defend itself. The United States spent more than a trillion dollars of its resources in Afghanistan. The amount of sacrifice and solidarity and commitment to Afghanistan to trying to give it a chance was immense. And it wasn't just the United States. Many other countries joined us and had their own sacrifice. Excuse me, let me, let me, just, let me just finish answering the question. And so, so the idea that uh, there was a, a lack of sacrifice on the, on the part of the American people is belied by the rows of headstones over at Arlington National Cemetery where people have come home. When it comes to Taiwan, it is a fundamentally different question uh, in, a, in a different context. And so from our perspective, what we need to focus on, well, I'm sorry, if, uh, I'll take the next question if you won't let me answer. Yeah. 